The weather was a big factor tonight for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Fans who braved tonight's game at Raymond James Stadium, let's just say they had to bring the ponchos. Clearly not ideal weather to play football or to watch it for that matter. Our normal summertime storms come and go with relief for players and fans. But Hermine is proving to be stubborn and there was no break for anyone at Raymond James Stadium tonight as the rain just kept on coming throughout <laughs> that game. Jim Posowski joining us live from the stadium in Tampa. All right, Chip, people going into this game knew they were in for a soaking. Not a lot of fans showed up, but those who did, they really got the soaking, didn't they? Oh, absolutely. And I did try to stay dry, but did not have very good luck. But we did spot several fans who came out here with some unique ways of staying dry. Others who were ready to deal with whatever Mother Nature had to dish out. While these diehard Bucks fans were sieging the day, these stadium workers were <laughs> squeegeeing the day. Clearly, the rains were coming down too fast for Ray J's drains. You've heard of cheese heads. Well, tonight, we spotted a drink holder head at the game. Most chose ponchos as the apparel of choice to stay dry. Others simply didn't care. Still others had a different plan. These two young men are diehard fans of News Channel 8 and take Steve Jervie's forecast very seriously. They brought pool floats, just in case. Yeah, I heard there was flash floods on Channel 8, so, you know, yeah. brought, brought my... Uh, I was watching the, uh, the uh, Max Defender 8, and it said there's going to be flash floods. So, and so you guys decided to bring... Yeah. They're pretty sturdy. They're holding just up. Just in case so. the stadium fl uh, flood out, like, you know, got it a little wet. We're prepared. Yeah. To say the least. Awesome. And we don't have official attendance, fig attendance figures for tonight's game, but it appears most fans elected to stay home and dry. Many who did can't come out tonight did leave at half nine. Halftime, the other diehard fans left just a few moments ago, most probably wondering what it feels like to have their feet dry. I know I am. Reporting live at Raymond James Stadium, I'm Chip Osowski, News Channel 8.